Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's vlog. Today is Scarlett's first day wearing one of her clips, and she looks absolutely adorable. Oh my god. I just can't get enough of her. She's so cute. When we got up this morning, or when I got up and Marissa got up, uh, we put her in her sit me up just on the counter while I was working on the laptop. And she's just like sitting there grabbing the laptop, having a good time. And I just, when I look at her, I just, I don't know, I just feel so like. I don't know, complete, I guess. It just, it's a good feeling. But anyway, um, I think today we're going to try and solve a major issue we've been having. Um, her bassinet just isn't working. Uh, hold on, let me put her down because she's actually getting heavy. So as I was saying, the bassinet is just not working. Uh, she's already reached the weight limit for the, for the bassinet. It's not comfortable for her, so she has been sleeping in the bed with us. Don't mind the messy bed, sorry. We haven't made it yet, we just got up. But it's just not working. There's no room for Marissa. There's no room for me. The baby's taking up the whole bed, which is, you know, it's fine, I guess, for her. But for us, we're just constantly just not comfortable. We're waking up in pain. Marissa's not getting a good night's sleep. I can sleep through mo most of her um, sleep fusses because she kind of like, she'll like hit Marissa in her sleep and she'll like occasionally let out sounds that'll wake Marissa up and she's like right at Marissa's like hearing level. So it just keeps Marissa awake and she's not getting good sleep. I'm thinking of two solutions here. Well, actually three solutions. We've been working on sleep training with her with the Ferber method. It's going very, very well. I think we need to incorporate that with a crib here in the room somewhere. Um, we saw a post online. Uh, Marissa showed me a picture of it. One of her friends, who is it? I don't know them. Oh, you don't know them. I thought it was someone you knew. All right, well, we saw a picture online, and it's a, a crib next to the bed with the with the um, the toddler transition piece down so that the mattress to the crib is level with the mattress to the bed, so that way the baby's, like, right there. Um, I think that's an option that we can use with her. My only concern is she rolls, and that crevice, I worry about her get getting in there. I mean, that's, like, a big, big hazard with that, but I think... I don't think we have to worry about that. I think if we did it without the toddler transition for like a couple days and then took that piece out so that the mattresses were side by side, um, I think that would be beneficial to us. I think if we try that for like a week or two and then move the crib from next to the bed to the wall just further away to get Scarlett used to not being, you know, right up against Marissa, we'll just transition there and then transition her to her bedroom uh, in the crib. I know it seems like we're overcomplicating it. We are. We just really hate when she cries. It's like so heartbreaking. So so it's very difficult to really know how to respond. At least for us, we're first time parents. We're doing what we think is right for her. Uh, we know she's clingy. We know she wants to be right up against us. So we need to transition away from that first before we can fully transition her to her nursery. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think that's what we're going to probably spend our day trying to figure out. That on top of eating, because we love food. Okay, so I have to be quiet, because right now Scarlett is in her in her crib, sleeping, or trying to. Uh, we've been, again, doing the Ferber method. Uh, Marissa checked on her once. She started screaming. Uh, we're now into our first 10-minute waiting period. I think mean, she's fine. Yeah, she seems to be good now. Can we just talk about how good Marissa looks right now, by the way? You are, you are a thing. I hate how I look right now. Oh, well I don't. Anyway, um, I think step one today is after she's done with her 20 minute nap, I'm going to take this apart. <laughs> this came with a, uh, travel bag, I guess you would call it. Um, so I'm going to dismantle it, put it in the bag that it came with put it away for safekeeping and then I think we're gonna head over to Target and pick up uh, side rails for this bed so that Scarlet does not fall out when we are co-sleeping in the bed um, because we don't have those right now that's a big concern of ours is Scarlet rolling off the bed uh, she does fine with the bassinet here blocking her like because Scarlet will sleep like this is this is Scarlet's spot <laughs> So she, she just kind of chills there. Uh, Marissa usually hangs out in the middle-ish, and then I'm over over there on the edge. So we're gonna we're gonna get rid of this, put the side rail up for tonight, 
and then maybe think about getting that crib in there in here at some point um don't know not sure i'm gonna have to see how marissa feels about that she doesn't want me to get another crib and i don't want to take that one apart to put it in this room because it won't fit through the doors so we're at a roadblock there for what we want to do but at least for now we can get those side rails get them on the bed make sure scarlet can't fall out doesn't help with our comfort level but it's a start because she just, she's not sleeping in the bassinet. It just just doesn't happen. So it looks like her 20 minute nap is up. Yep. Was it even? On the dock. It really it was? Mm -hmm. Wow, all right, well good for her. I'll Aside from it. that, <laughs> there's no better feeling than getting an Amazon package. Um, let's, let's open this bad boy up. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not cautious with my package. Come on. Open. Bad at filming, Ken. What was she even filming? That's what she's saying. I'm telling you. Alright, so. Made in China. I ended up getting her a toy iPhone clone. It's a very, very, very cheap uh, children's toy. Uh, and it says not for children under three. Really? Are you serious? The posting on Amazon literally said 12 months. You gotta be kidding me. What three year old is gonna play with this? This isn't, this is garbage. I figured this would be like, good for now, ish. You gotta be kidding me. The item description literally said 12 months. It says three years and up. I, it looks like she can make it a choking hazard. I'll have to look at it. Yeah. Now I'm disappointed. Maybe I spoke too soon about disappointment. I know it says three years are up, but the description literally says 12 months. And I don't see anything that would pose a choking wrist on it. Like, it's, it's all solid. Um, I mean, I can't picture her breaking anything off on this. It's not any less durable feeling than any of her other plastic toys my only concern is the power off and on switch which is very very small um but i can't think of a way that she would even break this off like it's it's in there um like i can't i can't break it myself right now so i don't know but i'm not biting it so i guess i'll just have to watch her when she uses this but it, it is pretty cool as far as as far as like sounds and stuff go I mean, that's pretty bad, right? And then email. Music. Camera. Then it's got little fruits here. You very good, Target. Oh. Yeah. Well, no. usually you don't cry when you see the camera. Well, this is a first. Mommy put her phone in the water. Uh, well, I guess I need a new phone. No, it's fine. Just wipe it. Wipe it on your shirt. It's your water. So I made it to Target. Ken is gonna get... Well, he wants to get two of the side rails I was talking about. Just because he's not sure. But if anything, we'll return if we only need one. And then I want to get her, like, snacks. So I was looking at these puffs originally. So we're gonna try this. And then Ken just gonna, like, throw more of the teethers in. Yeah, just all different flavors. Yeah, we haven't done the garb... Doing yeah, blueberry, like, yeah. Recently. Which is this it's one. Okay, but yeah. it's just the same thing. So we're gonna try the... Sweet potato and banana one. Then we're gonna also try the Gerber brand of like strawberry apple spinach and banana peach. No, I don't like sweet peach. potatoes, so I don't, no, but I don't know how she, she might. Deal with that. I hope so. Just because she but looks like you doesn't mean she's exactly like you, okay? I think she's a mini me. Stop. You don't know how to stop putting things in a cart, do you? Well, these you get a free fifteen dollar gift card. For fifteen dollars, you're gonna spend like I might hundreds. Have, I might have one too already. Oh boy, Scarlett, really you see good. what your father's doing? She's like, yeah, I got my blanket here. It tastes good. <laughs> I can't believe how much we just got. Like, it's all you. I all I picked was that one little outfit that you might have may have not seen yet. I'm trying to think ahead and like not um, have to worry about getting like size four diapers when she needs them. Needs M. Needs 
need them. He may already them. she may already fit in them too, so that's probably. why I said go ahead and we'll try it out. Yeah, because they're rated for like starting at twenty two pounds. She's probably at that because last time we weighed her she was like nineteen and change. Yeah, she was like almost right at twenty, so and that was a few weeks ago. Uh, we also ended up getting two guardrails for the bed because one, oh, we already talked about this anyway. Uh, we're gonna go get some food right now and then we're gonna head home and do some of those projects. Some? Some. A project? A project, one or two projects, a couple of things. Guys, I'm kinda sad that we're gonna get rid of the bassinet. Or me take too. It down. It's oh, me very, too. Uh, it's it, been up for a long time. It hasn't though, it really hasn't. Since like February. Yeah, I mean, that's not long. That was it isn't it isn't not eight nine months something like that. I might cry At least I didn't break it. <laughs> no, I yeah, no you did I built it and you broke it and they sent us a new leg oh, That's right. You built it. Yeah, so why don't you take it apart and then I don't have to worry about it No, cuz I'm gonna cry. Oh <laughs> All right, let's go home and do that, but let's eat first yeah. Oh, new dad talk is up. So we brought home some nice, healthy Burger King. Um, <laughs> we're not gonna have Scarlett eat that, so we're gonna give her some of the Gerber Puffs. It's the apple cinnamon flavor, and oh, let's kick out his toy. That's a pig. And um, the what is it? The sweet potato and what? Banana. Banana wafer. So, well, she have more than that. Uh, I guess we'll see how she does. Seven of these is 25 calories. For a baby, that's a lot of calories. Yeah, but she's gonna drop them. The dog's gonna eat them. This thing is 30 calories. We'll see what happens here. But Serving let me. size is four wafers. Let me get her in. Okay, bub. You wanna try some new stuff? No. Whoop. Oh, burgers. Here you go. I want some burgers. Yep, you know what that is, but that one's got a different flavor. So of course, after I turn the camera off, she finally puts one of the puffs in her mouth. Is it yummy? <laughs> Apple cinnamon? No, is it? Yeah. Uh-uh. Yeah, huh? No. Well, yeah, I ate it. Yeah, of course, you had to try it. I know what it tastes like. Well, the bin, or the little container says apple cinnamon. No, no Well, chance. that's what it is. It's definitely strawberry. I eat one. I'm not eating one. No, no, definitely. I strawberry. I eat no. one. This is not apple cinnamon. I have jalapeno poppers. I'm not gonna be able to taste it. Yeah. There you go. Your faces. <laughs> Probably because she knows that she's supposed to chew and then like it disintegrates. So she's like, wait, where is it? <laughs> You're just determined to give that to Allie, aren't you? Yeah, she's like, yeah, I want you to and try that. There you go. You, go. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to feed the dog. That's our job. Your sister gets lots of food. Wow. Good job. You're just on a roll. You're so good at this. So, yeah, but I don't really like these. This isn't meat, Ma. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, so enough of that. Now it's on to this project that I've been waiting for all day. I'm gonna put Scarlet on the bed while I try and fish out the bag for this that this goes in. It should be in the closet because like I said, I have a bag or a box full of um, just all bags. Like these two bins right here are just all strictly bags. So I'm pretty sure that's where I put it. Let's find out, Scarlet. You ready? Let's do it. As you can see, that is a pretty big bag. Um, yeah, I guess the manufacturer thought this would be a good travel bag and a good travel item, but I don't know anybody in their right mind who would travel with that big of a bag and that big of a bassinet. Like, it's not like a pack and play whatsoever. I don't, I don't know what they were thinking. And just like that, it's all done. That was way easier than I thought it was gonna be. Oh, my heart. I don't know why it's upsetting me. It's upsetting you? Yeah. Even though you don't sleep in it. <laughs> huh. My God. You get over it, I guess. It's not funny. 
It's, yeah, it's kind of funny. No, it's really not. It's a little funny. It's not. It's a little funny. Me crying is funny. It's, it's a little funny that you find it that emotional. Like, I literally have tears in my eyes. I'm Look, it's coming down right here. Oh, well now it's... it's See? I wasn't joking. <laughs> it is an emotional moment. Like... She's so this, big, like look at her. This is a big deal. She shouldn't even be on that bed right now, but I mean, you're in the middle, you're okay, right? Don't tip over. So, in the last clip I said like who in their right mind would like want to travel with this as like a pack and play type deal or like a it's travel It's not that bed. bad. Yeah, like doing this now, like... I was able to put it together while pregnant. This... I was nine this months is pregnant. Crazy. <laughs> this is so easy. It is. I, I'm, I'm impressed. I think I'm gonna have to do a like a, a follow up review to this about this bag. Yeah. And how just convenient this is right now. And right, this battery is gonna die too, so now we have no more cameras. I guess we can't vlog anymore. That's today. it. She's very very upset that I took her bassinet away. Um, now that I've got that all gone, I've got to install those Munchkin side rails that we bought. But I don't want to. Do it on the bed while I've got the bed so easy to change the sheets. So I think I'm gonna do that. Let's change the sheets, Scarlet. You want clean sheets? You don't care. You're a baby. So this is the temporary fix that we're doing right now while we co-sleep with her in bed. You had so much fun putting it together. Oh my god. Guys, <laughs> these are not made for beds with this type of Amazon metal frame. It's it's more or less made for beds with box springs. If you over tighten it, it's a nightmare. And if it's too loose, it's even more of a nightmare because then you risk baby, you know, getting between there. Obviously, there's still a risk of that because this is designed for like two-year-olds that are more aware of their surroundings. But this is just temporary while we can get her trained to sleep in her crib. I think we are eventually going to put a crib here. I don't know. I, I don't know. You tell me. I don't know. Tell me. Because wanna, this needs to happen. You don't want to undo the crib and rebuild it. No. I don't want to buy another crib. No. So we're kind of stuck in limbo. So if you guys can give me give us any advice here, cause... just put her in her crib. Yes. And then get up once she cries and soothe her, and then come back to bed. Every ten minutes to an hour. Or we get a new crib and we put it here, and you you it's be the same thing. You do the Ferber method. Yeah, but it's like just a couple steps over that way. I don't know. We'll figure this. Out. Either way, you're gonna be getting up, mm -hmm. or I'm gonna be getting up, or someone's gonna be getting up with you. You need to sleep in your crib. She's like, I'm right here. This is my bed, guys. Thanks. You have gas. You're burping. I like this. Thanks. Okay, hold on. <laughs> She's like, where'd my bed go, guys? I can't play in that. What the hell? Is this my pack and play? Alright, guys. This vlog is super long. Appreciate if you... Well, we appreciate if you made it to the end. Right? Yeah. What are you doing? What's going on? Why are you sad? I gotta get those hard drives now because the sale ends in five hours. Oh, yeah. YouTuber problems. <laughs> um, anyway, we hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Like we've been saying, if you have any advice to this sleeping situation, please leave your comments down below. And um, we will see you tomorrow for Check another daily vlog. Talk. Yes, that will be linked down below. It's about teething. Yes. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.